four on the wing. And we'll have these five on the elbow. And I'll have my two right here. All right. My name is Steven DeMeo. I'm the head coach of Northwest Florida State College here in Niceville, Florida. Come up the ball screen, throw it to K. Got the lob, high, low, whatever you want. If not, we're coming here like on down, exchanging here, dribble handoff. We're gonna just play out of this. Roll, replace. You guys got it? Let's run that through. You're not gonna be playing for a junior college head coach. You're playing for a, a division one coach. You know, he's got so much experience. Like we run this thing like a division one operation. Why are you taking notes? Why am I taking notes? Yeah. So we know who to put in at the end of the game when we need to get the ball in and make a free throw. And why are you taking notes? Who's gonna do the right thing? You're trying to figure out which five not to put in the game. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, let's go. Coach DeMeo is an unbelievable coach for, for development, for, for team chemistry, for just knowing what guys need and the right way to coach them. I think that's his other strength too, take is he knows in, how to out. coach certain guys certain ways to get the most out of them. You, know, you come here and we're going to win. We're going to have a lot of fun doing it. And uh, we, we will get you to the Division I level. play a little harder, man. We got, we got a couple guys playing really hard, but we need all five guys, every possession. I've been fortunate. I've been blessed. I have great staff. And I think we've done a good job of hiring the right guys. But for the right, they're here for the right reasons. They want to help these kids, but they also want to help their careers. So it definitely helps them get some experience. But these guys spend an unlimited amount of time with these guys on academics and social stuff and how to act and how to practice. And, you know, today you didn't practice as hard as you should, showing them, watching practice film with them. So, I mean, the job really never ends. Big but if you let him go over the top, that deflates our defense. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, hey. Let's get a real ice here. Winning speaks for him, so he, he comes from a place where he could be like, listen, like, what I am telling you works. And we look up at it every single day up around here, like what that guy is telling us is, is a proven recipe for winning. And just the way that he goes about it, it's like not like it's my way or never, like you have no chance. Like he's like, we do it like this because it works and we treat you with a type of respect. Okay, effort on three. One, two, three. Effort. Go, Obviously, the main goal is to win a national championship, but you don't get there unless you're able to fall in love with the process. Um, I saw, I heard this quote the other day. It was, it said, um, the man who loves the, the journey is going to go further than somebody that loves the destination. Just basically, like, if you're able to enjoy the process, love it, you're going to get more out of it. Instead of somebody that's just saying, well, I want to get to the national championship, I want to do it. Like, it's, it doesn't happen that easily. When you're able to fall in love with that process, and that's where we're trying to get the guys to, to understand that too. And it's a good thing we have a guy from last year, Jalen McDaniels, that went through that. He knows, okay, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And it's a building block every day to build that wall. And at the end of the year, you should have a good enough foundation to, to bring back a national championship. Being a player, I feel like I could reach players differently. For being an assistant coach, I could feel like I could reach players differently, you know? Like, I've been where they've been before. I've done what they've done. I've probably done worse than them. But now as a coach, I can tell them, don't do that. I made that mistake. Now let's go this way. Don't do that, you know what I mean? Don't talk back. Hold yourself accountable. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy, start enjoying the process of being coached. Because once you start enjoying the process, then things will be that much sweeter. You can't be stuck in what happened, what was successful for you last year, or the year before, or the national championship year. Because every team is different. You add two, three, four, 12 new players, you know, you gotta, you gotta figure out how, which buttons to push with each, with each guy. Um, and each new staff member brings different dynamics to it too. So I kind of sit back early and watch how these guys react, how they perform, 
you know, how they interact with each other, how they communicate. And then, you know, I'm probably, I'm probably a little bit like a chef where you have to mix the ingredients and everything's about timing, you know? You, know, you put the cake, you know, you take the cake out too early, it doesn't, it doesn't rise. Like, you know, you have to figure out, you have to let these guys be who they are, but also give them a little bit of structure. And sometimes you can kick them in the butt hard, sometimes you gotta just, you know, give them a hug. And, and, and I really think it comes down to making these guys believe in themselves. Hey, I, I, it was a really good practice. We had a great day today, except the mental part, when you start, I gotta start thinking. Like, I pride myself on our teams as being cerebral. You know what cerebral means? I pride our teams on being cerebral, meaning smart, meaning freaking when games are tight, when you gotta think, we execute properly. But if, you don't, if, you don't, if, you, if you're gonna let your fatigue get into you or you're gonna let your, your immaturity get into you, then you're gonna, then you're gonna slip up. You know so, no, I won't, I won't let us slip up, Coach, why? because we're going to write five in the game, all right? You're going to make sure you tell me that, all right? If I put the wrong guy in the game, you're going to tell me, you're going to yell at me, you're going to do whatever you got to do, all right? That's why I have a good staff. But, man, like, you, you can't expect to go to another school and, and make similar stupid mistakes to that after I just told you guys how to line up, how to flash to the ball, how to catch it. Like, those are things you got to learn to be great. If you want to be like everyone else, then, then you're going to do that. But I'm not going to let that happen because we have, all we need is five to play. So... I appreciate the guys on the sideline saying the right things, which is important. Finish practice the right way. All right? Great job today for the most part, from shooting, I heard, to freaking weight training, to practice for the most part. Energy was great. But now let's also get this part of it as well. All week, all week, bro. Hell yeah. We can do it. Coach? Yeah, I showed on my girl, I showed on my door, man. Yeah, yeah, pull her right nice and I do it like Superman. They ask you, who the man? I pull her right up and I'm doing it like Superman. Hey. Back with the Panthers, I'm back with the vibe, and I'm true, man. Hey, pull it right down like a superman. Pull it right down like a superman. Pull it right down like a superman. Homie, I'm back on my road then.